All right, lovers and friends, we've officially shot our first roll of film here in Beijing, and I honestly couldn't be happier. To start things off, we're taking the almighty Aquaboy 3000 out for its first adventure in Beijing. And we're just wandering around our neighborhood, trying to figure out where in the hell we are. Due to my terrible sense of direction, we've spent the vast majority of our time here more lost than a blind wombat. At first, I have to admit I was pretty nervous to move from the small world of Utah to the capital of China. But to be honest, I feel super at ease in the city now. Most people don't even lock up their bikes. But you definitely have to watch out for the delivery drivers. They have no time to worry about the rules because they've got noodles to deliver ASAP. Being surrounded by so many towering apartment buildings has been a huge adjustment but I'm honestly kind of starting to love all of the buildings out here. And I absolutely love that pretty much everything in this city is walking distance. We have a Walmart right down the street from our apartment. And that's Walmart, not Walmart. Very different things. I like this guy on this bike. And just a little further down the street is this awesome little street food slash night market thing where you can get drinks and any sort of wild food that you really have no idea what to even call it. I'm gonna take a picture of these balls. I like balls. China's fun. Oh. <laughs> with the first trip with the Aqua Boy under my belt, I felt that it was time to explore a bit further from home. And I had a mission. Because I'm basically a hack and don't even develop my own film, I was on a quest to find a camera shop where I could hopefully buy some more film, and I was really hoping that I could find a development lab. This was going to be tricky, considering I can't speak any Chinese and also haven't found anyone here that speaks English. Being that I was on my quest with a camera, the trip that probably should have taken a little over an hour ended up being more like a three hour expedition because I kept having to stop and photograph all the new and interesting things I saw. After an hour-long subway ride, miraculously not getting lost, and taking a lovely little stroll by the river, I came to the Beijing Art District, where I was told I could find a vintage camera store. If you recognize this street, you know exactly where I'm trying to go. This is Spring Camera, and if you want a Polaroid, man do they have them. I was able to mutter and mumble my way around with the owner and found out that they actually do indeed develop film. And so I even bought some new rolls while I was there. I had come all this way and still hadn't finished shooting the role of Superior I had in the Aqua Boy. So I decided to walk around the art district and burn the last half of the roll so that I could give it straight to the lab and see how good their development is. 
The Beijing Art District is such a rad place. There are museums and art galleries around every corner. They don't allow cars in the district, so it's just a bunch of weird art people walking around doing art, I guess. This lady thought I was a complete lunatic for taking pictures in this dark alleyway. It was a rainy and cloudy day, the kind of day that's just perfect for taking a stroll with the aqua boy. He loves the water. He's basically a duck. This is called a Dutch angle, if you were wondering. Literally everywhere I turned, there was another sculpture or something wild and weird to photograph. It was truly my own personal kind of heaven.